I'm going to help you in the preparation of SEE examination and today in the chapter 4 I'm going to tell you some equations or formula which are very important and used to solve the numerical problems. What are these equations or formula? Look at this. First one. If you have given two bodies, one having mass M1, another having mass M2, and they are separated by a distance D, and if you are asked to find out the gravitational force F between them, then you can use this equation, look at this, F equal to capital Z, M1, M2 by D square. Two, uh, two substances or two bodies separated by a distance D and their masses are M1, M2 and the gravitational force F is if asked, then we'll use this equation. Out of these one, two, three, four, five physical quantities, if four are given, then fifth can uh, four are given, fifth can be calculated. Maybe F given, G given, M1 given, M2 given, D can be calculated. This is one numerical problem, one equation for solving numerical problem. Now next, maybe a huge heavenly body may be given, and you can be you may be asked to calculate gravitational force between this huge heavenly body and another body lying on the surface. Let's say this is Earth and a body is lying on a surface. Then the mass of this huge heavenly body should be given. It is denoted by capital M and mass of the body lying on a surface is denoted by small m and the distance between these two seems to be zero. They are touching each other but this is wrong. We have to take distance from center to center and that's why it is radius of this huge heavenly body because the radius of the small one can be neglected. In this case, there is a distinct distance between them but in this case, the radius of the huge heavenly body is the distance between these two. And if you are told to calculate gravitational force between them, then the same formula we are using but in different way F equal to capital Z remains same. In place of M1, the first mass is capital M. In place of M2, this M2, the uh, second mass is small m. And the distance between them is not D, it is R. And that's why our equation is F equal to Z, capital M, small m by R square. This equation can be used to solve numerical problem in this type of, uh, in this condition. Okay, number three, sometimes not the gravitational force, but acceleration due to gravity can be asked in examination. Acceleration due to gravity on the surface of this huge heavenly body. If you are told to calculate acceleration due to gravity, this is denoted by small z. At this time, the mass of the huge body should be known, capital M, and this radius should be given and we can use this equation to solve acceleration due to gravity. Small g equal to capital Z, capital M by R square. What, what type of question uh, I told you? If you are told to calculate acceleration due to gravity on the surface of any heavenly body like Earth or near to the surface, then you can use this equation to solve the numerical problem. Now, next equation, look at this. In the same case, a huge heavenly body is given and acceleration due to gravity has to be calculated. We have to calculate acceleration due to gravity, but not on the surface or near to the surface at certain height at this point, let's say. If you are told to calculate acceleration due to gravity at this point, let's say it is g dash, then the mass of the huge heavenly body should be known and this radius, we must have this radius also and the height, this s, should be given. Now our equation will be g dash equal to capital Z capital M by R plus s whole square. Look at this. Acceleration due to gravity at certain height can be calculated by using this equation. Now fifth one, I told you in last class I told you the definition of weight of the body. 
What is the weight of the body? The force with which Earth attracts a body towards its center is the weight of that body. But the same can be defined in another way also in terms of measurement. Weight of a body is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity. Weight of a body is the product of its mass and acceleration due to gravity. That's why if weight of a body on the surface of the Earth here is asked in examination, you can use this equation, but we must know the value of Z. What is this Z? Acceleration due to gravity. In last class, what I told you about acceleration due to gravity, when a body is dropped from certain height, every second its velocity goes on increasing, and that's why acceleration produces, and the value of acceleration is different in different places of the Earth. At pole, it is 9.83 meter per second square. At equator, it is 9.78 meter per second square. In different places, it is different. But difference is not a lot. In average, the value of acceleration due to gravity is taken as 9.8 meter per second square at 45 degree latitude. That's why this value we must remember Z is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. So if a body is given, its mass is 2 kilogram, and if you are told to calculate its weight, then you can use this equation W equal to mz m. 2 kilogram z 9.8 meter per second square that's why you have to remember this small z value of a small z we are using 9.8 meter per second square now next have you noticed this in every equation except this every equation there is capital z what is it capital z in last class what i told you this is one kilogram mass let's say this is another one kilogram these are two unit masses, two unit masses, and if they are at a distance of one meter, then we can say that two unit masses are separated by a unit distance. Now, how much is the gravitational force between them? This is taken as the gravitational force between these two is taken as gravitational constant. And I told you that the gravitational constant is defined as the uh, gravitational force between two unit masses separated by a unit distance and scientists calculated this uh, value of gravitational force and it is found that this gravitational force is equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 and its unit is newton meter square by kg square remember this this is very important you can be asked in examination what is capital Z? You have to write gravitational constant. What is its value? 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square. And what is what is its unit? Newton uh, Newton meter square by kg square. This way, we are using this equation to solve the numerical problem. But we have to remember two values. One is a small z, 9.8 meter per second square. Another is capital Z, 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square by kg square. This value may or may not be given in the numerical problem. You have to use yourself. Okay, next class, I'll teach you how to solve numerical problems.